Yo, what's going on guys, Flames in here, and today I'll be bringing you guys a brand new video. Today I'll be doing a price analysis and price prediction on Veracity or VRA. Before we get into it, if you could leave a like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to join my Telegram in the link in the description, it's just general crypto discussions here and there, and I'll also post trades that I make every day. And lastly, if you'd like to make up to $100 for free in Bitcoin, just join the BlockFi link in the description as well. I just sit back and enjoy. Okay, so we're starting off here on coin market cap and we have a $45,800 Bitcoin and we have a $3,300 Ethereum. So we'll check that out really quickly before we do anything. And Bitcoin is sitting on that 200 moving average right now on the daily. As I've said before, we do not really want to lose that. This 50 is coming up right now. So hopefully it comes up holds us and then we get a nice pump off that when these two cross as well hopefully we can't end up regaining this sort of resistance that we have drawn up here this 618 as well and then this uh, uptrend line that i have drawn up here which started back here in october after we regain this our next resistance would be that 57 58k mark and then pushed on up towards that all-time high. I'm obviously bullish on this. I do hope to see us pushing on up here very soon. I think these are the last few shakeouts before we see some crazy moves coming out of this thing. And then altcoins will obviously follow and do absolutely crazy multiples as well. So we'll move back on over here to coin market cap and we'll have a quick look at Veracity or VRA. Right, here we go. It is sitting at rank number 289. We're at 3.9 cents right now. We're down 6.5% today. Our market cap is 174 million. Our circulating supply is 4.47 billion, and that is 43% of our total supply, which is 10.3 billion. If we're to come over here to CoinGecko and compare it, there's some people in the comments saying that it shows different sort of stats. So on here, the market cap is actually 257 million, so it is showing a difference there. Why is that? Um, what is the circulating supply? 6.5? 4.47 and then our total supply is 10.3 which is obviously the same there so i think we'll work off coin gecko here with the market cap and the circulating supply i'm pretty sure they are more up to date so we'll move down here and see where our all-time high is and our all-time high was five and a half cents and that was on april 17th which was five months ago and we're down 29.3 percent since then we'll move back over to coin market cap here so if you want to have a read, you can actually read down this, figure out a little more about the fundamentals. I've made a lot of videos on VRA before. This is more so just for price analysis and then also the price prediction, which will be soon. But you can come on up here and do your own research as well over at veracity.io and figure out a lot more about the fundamentals and where this thing's going. You can see that its product layer is integrated for the following video players, YouTube and Twitch, which is absolutely insane. These two are just complete monsters in the game. So, if you actually do your own research here and figure that you do want to buy yourself some, you can come over here to markets and see where you can actually buy yourself some. So KuCoin is the number one volume holder there. Then you've got BitThumb, Bittrex, Gate.io, Uniswap, Alkex, Indodax, Bitmax, loads of different ones there. Just stick to the high confidence ones and you'll be chilling. Now let's move over to TradingView now and we will do some price analysis and then I will do a price prediction as well. So if you watched the last video, we were sitting around here. And I said, we'll probably come up here, have a sort of fake out of this resistance. We did actually do that. Then it followed this, came the whole way back down. So maybe we can come back up here, retest this as support, and then come on up. This is obviously a quick squiggle in the last video, if you did see it. But it has followed it pretty closely so far. So you can't complain there. But looking at this on sort of a macro scale, we will go from the bottoms here. We have moved all the way up to the top. And that is pretty much a 20,000% increase there. That's absolutely insane. You won't be seeing numbers like that in anywhere but the crypto market. So if you unfortunately didn't get in at these levels and actually are still sitting without yourself a bag of VRA, I can run a fib here. I'll actually just delete this, but it's followed it pretty closely. So hopefully we do come up, retest this and keep going. But if you're sitting without VRA, you can run a fib from this bottom all the way up to this top and as you can see in the previous video i would have been telling you to buy around these areas we have come down wicked into it perfectly and come back up again we're testing this two three six now and if we do fail to hold that we obviously may be coming down to these lower levels here so i'll drop back to the four hour here and we will have a sort of closer look at this thing i'll bring it in and we'll zoom in so Obviously on this move, we have moved from 0.71 cents there all the way up to pretty much 5 cents. We have topped out there and come back down, tested this 3 at 2. We managed to lose it there for a little, but tapped the 200 moving average here on the 4 hour. We didn't come the whole way down to the 0 0.5. But if you do watch my videos, I always tell you to draw a box around this, 
and we pretty much would have tapped the box there. But I would say that would be a good buy order there around that 0 0.5. And also I'd be putting one in on this 382 here as well, which is pretty confident with that support that I have drawn up at around that 3.3 .3 cents mark. If we also come down here, you can put one on this 618 here as well. If we are to bleed a little and Bitcoin does not behave, you could be testing this 618 here around that 2.3 cents as well. Obviously that's putting sort of a more bearish scenario on this. If we're to lose these moving averages here and come down and test this, we could just bounce and keep going. But then again, we could lose a couple of levels before bouncing and then you would pick up some cheaper VRA and then you get a nicer percentage increase on the move up. So if you're actually working in the BTC pair, we'll have a look at Veracity BTC here. Um, it is on there somewhere. It's just lost among all those coins that I have here. I don't even know how many there is there. So as you can see, if you did watch my previous video, we were topped out here. And I said, put buy orders in along this 382 all the way down to this 0 0.6. Look what happened. Came right down into that 618 mark bounce beautifully off it and if you did actually manage to get your buyers in around that you would have got a nice 40 percent bounce there and congratulations if you did manage to listen to that last video if you did not we will actually drag this fib up and we'll remove this and now on this move we are actually above this 302 here and it does seem to be holding us support if we can close above this we might move on up towards this 236 so obviously if bitcoin does pump here we could be coming down to these lower levels here and I'd be putting your buy orders in around this 0 0.5 mark here. And I'd maybe ladder it down all the way down to this 786. So I'd ladder your buy orders from 7,830 sats all the way down to around that 6,620 sat mark. Now we'll move back on up here to the USDT pair. And I will now give you a price prediction. And for this, I'll remove all this previous stuff here. And we will drop back to the daily. And for this, I'll obviously be using a Fibonacci and we'll be looking at the extensions here. So I'll run it from the top all the way down to the bottom there. And as you can see, we did actually manage to hold this 618 here. We didn't get any daily closes below it there, which is fairly bullish in my opinion. So we might actually come on up here, test the 786, also confident with this resistance that I have drawn up here as well. And then we'll maybe come up, test these highs here. And once we do end up blasting through this, it is just a matter of time before it happens we will easily be seeing this 1.618 here up at around this 10 cents mark. I have the psychological drawn up there and I do think we'll be blasting on way above all these Fib extensions to be honest. This 4.618 is sitting at 25 cents and I still don't think that's doing it justice. This 5.618 is at 31 cents. I would say we should be marking up, honestly, these psychological levels here. This is a new project in the game here and it is absolutely insane fundamentals wise. If it pulls off what it is saying that it is going to do, I do think we could be seeing psychological levels this cycle up to numbers like $1 here. So from our current prices, that would be a 2,600% increase, which would be a 26x there from current prices. So if we're to get our calculator out here, I'll remove this previous stuff, and we'll move over to CoinGecko. A 26x to get us to that $1 price point. Where's our calculator going? So if we are to multiply our market cap there of 257,421,973 and multiply that by 26, we would get a market cap of 6.7 billion there pretty much. And if we're to come over here to coin market cap and we are to look at the list of coins and we're to go down to a $6.7 billion price point here, where would that put us? So it's pretty much exactly the same as Theta's market cap there. And I do think Theta is very undervalued. I think this thing is gonna pump way up the ranks. And if you don't think that Veracity can push up to this $6.7 billion market cap, I don't really know what to tell you. Honestly, that will probably be higher than top 50 sort of towards the end of the cycle, maybe even higher. I think there's a lot of money to flow into this thing and people's minds are just gonna be absolutely blown with the parabolic moves that come out of the altcoins here. But I genuinely do not think that a $6.7 billion market cap to get us to that $1 price point is out of range at all in this cycle. I genuinely do think that that will be hit. This thing will absolutely melt faces towards the end of the year. And I think the cycle will be ending sort of Q1, Q2 of 2022. I hope that's what you wanted to hear. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. I love you all. Peace.